Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Joe with The Color of Marriage, and I want to welcome you to the live Q&A for The Extraordinary Husband. Well, today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, and the topic that we're going to be talking about, or we're going to be answering a pretty uh, interesting question, and that question is, how should I respond to my, how should I respond if my wife communicates that she is sexually dissatisfied in our marriage. So that's what we're gonna be, the question that we're gonna be answering. So you can see this is a very sensitive topic. So this is not a video for children, people under the age of 18. Um, it's actually for people who are married. Um, so that's why this, is, this video is for husbands. So again, we're gonna be answering the question, how should I respond if my wife communicates that she is sexually dissatisfied in our marriage? You know, that's a hard question for a husband to have to answer, especially if he's not prepared to answer that question. So I'm here to help you get prepared to answer that question just in case your wife asks you that question or has asked or has asked you that question and you didn't know how to respond to it, you or maybe you responded in a way that you probably shouldn't have responded. Um, but listen, listen, folks. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with that today. And if you see my eyes going here, there, down, up, I'm just looking at the resources. So don't don't pay that any attention. I am definitely. Um, there with you so thank thank god um for the ability to have the resources here so anyway let's go ahead and um start off with a word of prayer okay father thank you for your mercy your grace your kindness for allowing us to have this time in today's live q a father uh we invite you to be a part of today's Live Q&A for the Extraordinary Husband Father. We ask that your Holy Spirit uh, preside over today's live Q&A, that you give us the answers that we need so that we can understand how to respond to the questions that our wives bring to us on not being sexually satisfied or any of the questions that our wives <clears throat> may bring to us that we may not have an answer to. May we always come to you, Father, and seek your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding so that, you know, we know which direction that we need to go in, Father. And I pray that uh, all the husbands here learn to go to you prior to responding to a difficult question. And not even just a difficult question, Father, but sometimes questions that may seem simple but could trip them up if they don't seek you first also if we seek you first lord i know that we're going to get the best answer so if we want the best answer help us lord to come to you before we do the things that we do because you tell us in uh, proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 that we should trust in you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding and in all our ways, all our ways, acknowledge you, Father, that you will direct our path. You said that you would do that, and we should take that benefit and use it and stop wasting the benefit, Father. Help us to not waste any more benefits, benefits that you have given us that will help us to live a effective life, to have an effective marriage. So I thank you, Lord, for that and give you praise and give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, then. So, fellas, again, um, welcome to the Extraordinary Husband live Q&A. Uh, I'm Jill Robinson with The Color of Marriage. I help husbands live better. Or should I say, I help husbands love better, lead smarter, and gain more respect and i do that in the extraordinary husband master class there's a link to that uh in the video and in the description for this video so 
we're going to get into the question again the question is how should I respond if my wife communicates that she is sexually dissatisfied in our marriage you know that would be a very hard thing for a husband to have to hear from his wife but look that is not a surprising response for many wives I want to tell you that that is not a surprising response by many wives because many wives are sexually dissatisfied in their marriages today they're just not saying it they are just not saying that they're sexually dissatisfied in the marriage and and you know the reason why they're not saying it is because they don't want to hurt your feelings they don't want to make you feel like you're less than a man they don't know how to bring this topic up in a way so that you two can discuss it without tempers flaring you know um, egos getting deflated pride coming up they don't know how to approach it so they don't feel safe to tell you that they're sexually dissatisfied in their marriage and many of you probably already know that your wife is sexually dissatisfied in the marriage God has probably said it to you and you just probably ignored the fact that you know this is something that God has said when the Holy Spirit speaks to you and tell you things don't let your lack of knowledge embarrassment fear or whatever else keep you from doing the things that the Holy Spirit is telling you to do in your marriage so that you can improve it again I want to help you to love better and part of loving better means having conversations that you may not want to have with your wife and saying things that you may not want to say to your wife and doing things to your wife that you may not want to do and you need to love better because God tells us to love our wives as Christ loved the church and many of us don't really understand what that means and I was in that position you know a couple of years few years ago um, several years ago I would say and I didn't understand what it meant for me to love my wife as Christ loved the church because my wife during the argument came to me or she presented the question how do you know you're loving me like Christ loved the church see my wife is not one of those wives who are afraid to ask questions now I'm not saying she she she's fully on with that because she may be hesitant in asking questions and I'll tell you in a moment how I came up with this particular question um, but anyway she asked me how do I know that I'm loving her like Christ loved the church and I thought you know hey I'm a marriage counselor I probably I should know this answer this answer already and I'm thinking to myself thinking to myself and guess what nothing's coming up not a good answer is coming up so I tell my wife you know what I don't know so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find out and ask the Lord and and, 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 and I'll get back with you later and, and, and I did ask the Lord and I did get back get back with my wife later and uh, actually I have a whole teaching on how to love your wife as uh, Christ loved the church because it's important for us to know that so that we know that we're loving our wives as Christ loved the church so we need to know how to love better so that when we're serving our wives uh, we know how to do it in a loving manner so that our wives are more attracted to us because when we love them they are more attracted to us and guess what that will help in the sexual department of your marriage uh, so learn how to love your wife better and she also wants you to lead better and see I'm saying all these things because this is what is going to help your wife to be more sexually satisfied in your marriage and you may not even realize this you may like you might be asking well how is me loving my wife and leading my wife going to help her to be more sexually satisfied well as we go on through this lesson you're going to understand that because your wife is mentally st stimulated you 
are visually stimulated. And that doesn't mean that you're not mentally stimulated as well, but we as men, we're more visually stimulated than our women are. Not to say that women aren't um, visually stimulated, but for the most part, in order for their internal things to get to rolling, they have to be mentally and emotionally stimulated to get into the act of whatever it is that they're doing with you as a husband. And you that's why you have to respond in a way that helps her to get mentally and emotionally into the sexual part of the marriage. All right, so I told you how I, how I came up with this. I was going to say how I came up with this question. And my wife, ask me that question well she really didn't ask that question here's how it, here's how it went you know that morning and, and, and I'm going to be a little vulnerable with you uh, all this morning and that's the only way that I'm going to be able to really help you learn is if I'm willing to be vulnerable with you and share parts of our lives that you know that the outside world really do doesn't need to know about, but if I'm going to teach you what you need to know, then you need to know a little bit about what's going on. So early that morning, me and my wife, we were intimate. If you don't know what that means, then we need to do sex one-on-one. Um, and if you need to do sex one-on-one, <clears throat> in the comments, go ahead, email me. We can set up a session and we can talk about that. But anyway, that morning, me and my wife was, was intimate, uh, and um, there was some, you know, foreplay and, and all this other things that, that took place. Um, and so, in the end, um, there was an orgasm that happened, and it was from, from on my, my behalf, and somehow my, my wife didn't, so she unusually stopped you know right in, in, in right almost like at the end and I'm like what's going on and so forth and so on so she went and in, in, in took a shower and, and so forth and so on and um, then she came back and here's what she said she says you know thank God that women are not as sexually stimulated as men or thank God that Thank God that he didn't make women like he made women, men who need sex all the time because if he did, there'd be a lot of angry women in the world because they're sexually dissatisfied. Now, that threw me off for a moment and, I, and I'm like, hold on, what happened here? And then we got it into a discussion about my wife. Um, she was saying that she was not sexually satisfied and and I was kind of confused with that um, and the reason why I was confused is because me and my wife again remember if I'm looking down here there resources so so I'm not I'm not I'm not looking away or anything like that so trying not to um, I'm, I'm just doing what I what I what I see that needs to be done. So anyway, we had we had been having these conversations, um, you know, about sex and and things like that. And um, you know, we we were we were talking and we were just talking to somebody not too long ago. Um, we had been you know about we were, we were talking and we you know about uh, sex with another couple and she was talking about you know you know how things was going with her and just talking to somebody not too long ago and um she was saying how things was going with her and sorry about that uh, in, little interruption um but she was not she did not indicate she didn't give an indication um of the, her being sexually dissatisfied when we was having this conversation with a couple. Maybe she was saving face or maybe she wasn't. But I don't believe she was because me and her, we talk about this. We don't talk about it at length all the time. 
but I do want to make sure that my wife is sexually satisfied in the marriage. And I want to thank you all who are out in watching this live. I really appreciate y'all. I may not get to the comments, but if you have a comment, put the comment in there. But uh, I may not get to it. If I do get to it, uh, I I'll let you know. Well, you'll know if I do. But anyway, she made that comment and said that, you know, she was actually dissatisfied. So we, we, we had a big, you know, conversation and argument. You know, we wasn't calling each other name, but we was talking about things. And we were talking about, you know, um, things in the past of a marriage. We were thinking of talking about things that just happened or whatever. And so really that brought about the realization of why my wife felt the way she did. Because I guess at that moment she really wanted to be able to be relieved of the sexual pressure that was on her that morning and she was not able to do it and I somehow you know reached orgasm before she did and I try not to do that but sometimes it happens uh, and many times you know we're able to work through these things but you know the, the main reason was that morning she was frustrated uh, and that she could not get to that point and 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 I guess she may have had enough of that because you know it, it has happened before because we have had these discussions and and I you know we talked about what we can do um, but the main thing is I know she was frustrated and in in the fact of the matter is at that moment she was sexually dissatisfied and you know as we went on she went to tell me about some things and um, that leads me into answering the question, um, how should you respond, you know, to your wife, you know, when she brings this to you? So you, 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 what I did is I did not get defensive. And that's the first thing that you want to do is not get defensive. You know, God tells us in uh, James chapter uh, 1 verse 19 and 20, that we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For the anger of man does not produce the righteous living that God requires. So God wants us to be slow to anger. Okay? He wants us to be slow to anger, uh, but listen. So so when you listen um, before you quickly get angry you're going to understand more about where your wife is coming from you know your wife is telling you these things not for you to get angry with her but because she wants to satisfy she might seem like she is angry and that's because of the frustration level that she's at because she has not been sexually satisfied and think about it if you were not sexually satisfied how frustrated and angry would you be over time you will get frustrated and angry quicker than your wife would but your wife is not so some some women are some 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 are not but you don't want to get defensive with your wife uh, you want to listen to her and have the conversation with her that you need to have um, so that y'all can resolve these, resolve this issue that you two are having. And the next thing is, you, you know, I know this will make you feel embarrassed, but don't let it embarrass you. Let it bring to your mind the fact that y'all need to resolve this. Okay. Listen, yes, uh, if your wife is saying this, she wants a resolution. Okay, and we don't want to take offense and, and read the comment, Miss. You know that Daniel put there. It's a good comment. He saw, he talks about if your wife is openly saying how she feels about it. Um, first, she know about it. First, she knows she can come to you. She should know that she should be able to come to you. Is what he's saying. But read that comment that Daniel had there. I think it's an interesting comment, and I want y'all to read it. And hear what he, see what he has to say, um, but yeah, you, if your wife comes to you, uh, she she wants she know she should 
you know your wife should feel safe to come to you when it when when, when these kind of situations come up and and many times the reason why your wife doesn't come to you is because you blow up or you shut down or you do whatever else you do to make her feel like ah I should have never brought that to him and you know and my wife because we was having a conversation said no I should have never brought that to her but I, I reassured her that no that's not the fact that you shouldn't have brought it to it to me uh, I'm glad that you did bring it to me so that now we can you know we can work on that and we can get that better because I don't want my wife to be going around being sexually dissatisfied at any point in our marriage. Now I want to know. I want you to know you're, you're probably going to have more orgasms than doing, doing sex than your wife um, because you usually get there quicker. And some and your wife is more graceful to allow that to happen. Your wife is more graceful in the sexual department than you think she is. And you know, my wife tells me on many occasions that you know she feels that that she's serving me when when we're having sex and sometimes she may not want to have sex and we we had we do it anyway she doesn't tell me that but i don't like it when she if she, i want my wife to be into it just like i am but sometimes it's not going to be the case and and so i don't like that so i try to do whatever i can do so that she is in 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 the mood and into into the action just like i am but sometimes you know she just freely gives herself and and I'm and and she just is just looking out for me but the thing is I need to be looking out for her just like you need to be looking out for your wife you may not know some of the things that your wife goes through in the sexual department in your marriage just to please you you may not know some of the things that she's going through which is you know the the next thing um, but before we get that, I want to say don't be embarrassed when your wife says this. Also, don't go to doom like, oh, man, we can never have sex again because I'm going to be afraid to go to my wife and have sex with her. And if she doesn't have an orgasm, then I'm going to like, man, I, I, then I'm going to be this thing is going to happen all over again. Pray and ask God to help you with this situation. I want you to do that. Make sure you pray and ask God to help you with this situation because if you don't and you go to doom and let your embarrassment and your fear keep you two from having sex, then you're going to be in violation of Colossians chapter 1 Corinthians rather, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse um, 1 through 5 or something like that where it says your body is not your own and your wife's body is not hers y'all should not um, you know keep keep your you know sex from each other for a long period of time so you gotta you gotta know what you need to do and that's why we need to always take what we need to take um, to God and that's why in the last video we did um, you know the, the one secret to an extraordinary marriage and that is inviting God into your marriage God needs to be a central part of your marriage so that you can resolve the issues that you you got going on and that was the problem with Adam and Eve when the serpent came to Eve and started speaking to her had she just said hey you know what wait a minute let me go talk to God about this issue and had and, and before Adam took the fruit from his wife and he he should have said, oh, hold on, let's see what God has to say. Men, we don't want to do a repeat of Adam. We want to be good leaders, and good leaders go to their leader, who is Jesus, to find answers to the conflicts or challenges that they're having so that they can get the solutions that they need. So you need to go and know that God will give you a solution if you ask him okay so this is definitely going to be a two-part series we're gonna definitely get back to this on Monday morning but um, be before we end today let's just kind of dive in a little bit on reasons why 
your wife would say such a thing, uh, why your wife would say, you know, uh, she's sexually dissatisfied in your, in the marriage. And so I want to say that it's not always your fault that she's sexually dissatisfied in the marriage. I want you to know that. Give me a moment. Right. So, yep, Daniel made an, uh, another good comment, and that's right on point uh, in what we're saying. It takes a woman uh, time to build up to a climax. Women don't get excited like men do um, just, just by us walking by them. Um, most men see their wives walk by and look at her, and he's thinking uh, whatever then you know and you 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 build up the sexual incitement so quickly you, look your wife the, the the sexual tension from your wife does not start at the moment that you two are beginning that moment of intimacy the moment of sex your wife needs to be you know, you ever heard of those wind-up robots? You know, when you were a kid, you ever had a wind-up robot or a wind-up car? Uh, and, and I'm not diminishing who your wife is when I'm saying this, but sometimes, you know, in order for that robot or that car to move, you need to take the time to wind it up. And sometimes you got to do five, six, seven, or eight times. In other words, you got to wind that thing up and then once you wind it up, it's blue, 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 moving out, or the car is zoom, 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 zoom in, and so forth. So think of your wife like that, doing sex. You have to wind her up. You have to wind up. And each wind builds up sexual tension. Each wind that you do makes her think of you sexually. Each wind that you do brings her closer to a, a climax. But you gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta know how many winds it takes for your wife to easily get to a climax when y'all really get started on the physical part so in other words you got to go and get to your wife mentally so you know i heard in in one book that i read sex starts in the kitchen it starts in the morning it starts when you get up there's an article on our website that we did called nine steps to uh nine tips for the what marriage bed something like that nine tips for the marriage bed and then also we got a two-part video on our youtube channel about nine tips for the marriage bed that those things are going to help you as well i'll put a link to that in the comments afterwards but listen listen here you have to figure out how many times it takes to wind your wife up sexually. If you want to be sexual with your wife, you need to start as soon as you think. Send her a text. Babe, I'm thinking about you. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to get with you this evening and wait for the response. If she doesn't respond, wait for a while and say, God, what do I need to text next? And if she texts you back immediately, now you know y'all, you two are in this game. And so she texts you, then you text her back. And, 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 and don't be so rushy or anything like that. But you gotta get you, you gotta get your, your 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 wife excited about this so that she can be as excited as you are once y'all get started with the physical part. But also, you know, your wife has a lot of emotional things that's going on with her said she has to get out of her head and she got the kids she got the house she got some, she has a lot of pressure and, and and it keeps her from being in tune with you that's why your wife said just go ahead do it. just 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 go ahead and do it because she's like I can't get there or whatever and and, and you get upset and, and and you don't understand but look it it it, it like it's like 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 it was said it doesn't take you but five hot seconds if that to to get an erection and get ready and get stimulated whereas it might take your wife hours to really fully get you where you can get in five seconds five seconds okay 
she may be thinking about it, and and and, and, it, and one turn might get her there, and then she'll forget about it, and then she needs that second turn, and she'll like, oh yeah, yeah, and then you give her that third turn, and then you give her that fourth turn, then you give her the fifth turn, and then that sixth turn is you two doing the physical acts. But you got to remember, even in that, that fifth or sixth turn, you're doing a seventh and eighth turn with what we call foreplay. And we'll, we'll get more into that as well. But, you know, we're going to end it, the video today. But the fact of the matter is we're going to continue on with that second part on Monday at 7 a.m. That second part is reasons why your wife would say something like this, something like she's sexually dissatisfied in the marriage. So listen, fellas. It's important for you to understand sex in your marriage. If you've been married for a while or if you've been married two days, you need to understand sex. You need to understand your wife sexually. You only have one woman to understand sexually and you get a lifetime to do it. And if you are not willing to do that one thing for your wife, then your wife is going to walk around always sexually dissatisfied. And guess what? If she's sexually dissatisfied, guess what? Who, who's going to be sexually dissatisfied sooner or later? And that's going to be you. You have one job, one woman, to figure out how she operates sexually. Now, you may figure it out today and it may change tomorrow, but you got to keep doing it. That's why God says in 1 Peter 3, 7, that you need to live with your wife in an understanding way. That's another part of loving your wife as Christ loved the church. Whether you knew that or not, that's another way of leading your wife, okay, so that you can gain respect. Again, for fellas, I'm Joe with The Color of Marriage, uh, and I help husbands uh, love better, lead smarter, and gain more respect through the Extraordinary Husband Masterclass. All right, we're going to continue with this on uh, Monday morning at 7 a.m. Yes, it's Memorial Day, but I'm going to be here uh, 7 a.m., uh, and for those of you who don't know, on our YouTube channel, we go live on our YouTube channel uh, Monday mornings at um, 5 a.m. Monday mornings at 5 a.m. and Fridays at 4 uh, 5 p.m. It's called our marriage replenishment morning and marriage replenishment night. They're probably going to be changing the times a little bit, especially in the morning. We want to have a marriage replenishment morning, a marriage replenishment evening not night but marriage replenishment evening check us out the color of marriage on youtube check us out uh also check out the extraordinary husband master class uh if you want to donate you can go to our webpage thecolorofmarriage.com you'll see the donate button uh also you can um you know you can do a zale uh joe rob 54 i believe that there is a there is a uh, post in the things that I put up top that was um, pinned to the top. So there's a post there that gives you some links as well, the Extraordinary Husband Flow page. So if you want to support this, um, just giving you those options to do that. You don't have to, um, but we would definitely appreciate you if you can support as well. So anyway, let's pray out. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your grace, your kindness for allowing us to have this time in today's live Q&A for the Extraordinary Husband. Father, help those husbands who listen to these this video to understand about their wives sexually so that they nor their wives will be sexually dissatisfied in their marriage. Help them to learn their wives and not be selfish and only want to please themselves. Help them to please their wives as well. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for this again. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, until uh, next time, fellas, y'all take care. Um, have a good rest of the day. Be safe and make sure you do what God tells you, okay? Take care now. Thanks. Bye-bye.